fuel cell is an electrochemical device that converts a fuel directly into power. And if we were to contrast that to a combustion engine, the fuel is actually burned and then used to create pressure, which is then used to do work, as in the case of an internal combustion engine. Um, for a fuel cell, that's quite different because what we do is we actually convert the fuel electrochemically into protons and electrons, and electrons are then able to do work, and then at the cathode side are recombined to form the product being water in the case of hydrogen. So lithium has several drawbacks, and that being its temperature limitation. At 80 degrees C and above, it undergoes significant plasticization, which means it'll flow, and as a consequence, it, you'll end up with fuel sac failure. Um, SPI, on the other hand, will allow you to operate at elevated temperatures, and so far we've been able to see it be able to operate successfully at 120 degrees C, and we think we probably can push that envelope. And water management issues all arise when we're dealing with liquid water, and you can imagine that water will actually block these channels and lead to a, a decline in the performance of the fuel cell. So if we're able to elevate that temperature at which now, instead of dealing with liquid water, we're dealing with liquid vapor. You can imagine that now it's much more easier to remove water from the system, and thereby you have a much better performing fuel cell stack. The top two things I think SPI can really be pushed into the market immediately are first of all, dealing with direct methanol fuel cells. Since these materials have low crossover, and we're able to engineer these materials to work very well without nephion, either in the electrode or in the polymer electrolyte itself, we're able to overcome several different things which allow us to achieve higher powers than Nafion itself. And so applications that might exist based on DMFC technology include PDAs, laptops, um, in the case of Sandia, maybe micro-powered sensors. Uh, the list would probably go on depending on uh, the creativity of the person looking into the problems and issues associated with, with using a DMFC-based system.